What's up guys, Matacaster here, and welcome back to CMS 2021, and I figured today let's do something a little bit different, we usually head to the junkyard or barn, let's go to the auction of the more derelict cars, the kind of ones that are more run down and uh, kind of forgotten about, so let's head on over to the car auction and see what we can find, and here's what I'm talking about, the salvage cars, this is what we want here, and take a look at what they have, there's definitely some run down cars out here, but what I, something that piqued my interest is this right here, this is like an old Model T pickup, hot rod, obviously. Very cool, very, very cool. I love this stuff. This is pretty awesome. I don't, if some of you might know. In real life, I have a 1931 Ford Model A five window coupe, um, going for, you know, kind of that old school hot rod stuff. So I love this kind of stuff uh, in real life and in game. Guys, I think we're gonna have to make a play on this one. This would be a lot of fun to do. Only thing I'm not crazy about is the double wishbone front suspension on an old school classic hot rod like this. You know, I like to see the, you know, the single axle drop axle style, but what are you going to do? It's, it's a mod. It's a game. So, you know, they, they, they can only work with so much these mod creators, but this thing is really cool. It's based off of the bone shaker, hot wheels, bone shaker, but it's more vintage hot rod, which I really dig with the white walls and everything like that. So yeah, I think we're going to, we're going to, we're gonna have to take this one home. And we won it for 15,000, what was the total? 15,000 something, starting price was 2,591. But uh, yeah, let's send this thing over to the garage and get started. All right, I believe it has arrived. There's, guys, I've still got this beautiful Richard Petty car. If you, if, uh, that was a recent one. If you wanna see that, just check my videos. This is still, my, one of my favorite cars. Absolutely gorgeous. Keep it out front, get attention to the shop, right? All right, here is our Model T pickup hot rod. All cleaned up and yeah, it's not really, it's really not too bad. Really not too bad at all. Let's move it over to car lifter A. From here, we can go grab our welder and get going on this. Use equipment, except that's gonna help us a lot for body wise. You can see it's, it's straightening out really nicely. Okay, we can move that back. And really, really straight looking truck. I'm digging this. I love the black. I think the black might have to stay. All right, let's get this thing up in the air. Running a multimeter test, and yeah, there's some... I mean, the, the car's not as bad as some of the ones we've gotten before, but yeah, it definitely needs some uh, attention. Let's do a compression test, see what we get out of this. And we're getting, yeah, 30s, 40s. Not something I'd really want to uh, drive hard. So we're going to pull this engine out and do a complete rebuild. So we'll get this oil drained. And yeah, that is some black oil, <laughs> that's for sure. And move this back and start disconnecting our uh, drive line here to get the engine out. We'll take care of our drive shaft here, which I think a lot of this stuff is going to be repairable, which is. Very nice. It's it's nice to get one that's a little bit better than some of the junkyard stuff that we've we've been getting recently. Definitely gonna make life a little bit easier. Get the starter out of here. Then we can remove our gearbox. Got a few stuck bolts, as to be expected. Get those out of the way, and then we can get to our clutch and flywheel. Get that release bearing out. Might as well get these. Take these off while we're here. We don't have to mess with it later. There we go. And then we can get our clutch and the flywheel out. And I think we are ready to pull our engine. We got our engine crane here. Pull it out. It is gone. We are ready to go put this on the engine stand. And there it is. Just checking out how the modder did this is pretty cool. Working with what he had. I really dig the, the headers. That's, that's definitely old school. It looks so good. The modders on this one were golly and French toast. So well done guys. All right, let's start tearing this engine apart. Get that out of here. Our air filter, air filter base. We got dual carbs on this, very cool. Might have to go performance on these. Although that, we don't want to go too crazy with the horsepower. You figure the power to weight ratio would be undrivable if we throw tons at it, but we'll, we'll do something for sure. Gonna get a little stuck bolt there, get this intake out. It is out of the way. Speaking of in the way, let's get rid of the ignition wires. Clip. 
Got both clips on there. How about that? It's not always the case. We'll get this rotor out of the way. Distributor. We'll go ahead and grab the coil while we're doing all that. Electrical stuff. We'll get the engine head out of here. Couple stuck bolts. Three. One, two, and three. Pull these out. And reveal the rockers and push rods. Get all the rockers and push rods out. Then we can move on to the spark plugs. One, two, three, and four. Go ahead and get rid of this exhaust manifold. Only one stuck bolt, not bad, especially for an exhaust manifold. Now we can remove our head. One stuck bolt here. Got that taken care of. And we will now reveal our pistons, which actually aren't terrible. There's a lot of carbon buildup on those two, but not terrible. All right, guys, that's that side torn down onto the other side. Okay, now time to tear down the front. Two stuck bolts on the fan. How about that? To get to our water pump and all that stuff. Get that out of the way. Serpentine belt. Take off the alternator. Which would be cool, if, like on the old school stuff like this, if they had like generators. But again, I'm just being nitpicky about old hot rod stuff, I guess. <laughs> Still cool though. Still very cool. Get this water pump out of the way. There we go. We can get... Go ahead and take off this oil filter. Get that out of the way. Harmonic balancer out of the way. Get our timing cover. Get to our timing set. There we go. It's out of the way. Onto our timing chain. Oh, come on now. There we go. Got it out of there. And we can pull out our camshaft. Then we'll be able to flip the engine over and get to our... Pistons, rods and pistons and rod caps. Move our oil pan to reveal. Hey, we still got all of our rod caps and retainers, bearing, crankshaft bearings. How about that? Usually this stuff is missing, if, <laughs> if much left at all. As you guys, I'm sure, are familiar with, if you watch regularly. These, uh, Auction cars, these like salvage auction cars might be, might be the way to go. Although you guys do love it when I bring them really crusty stuff and bring it back. So there is always that. Okay. Let's get all these rod caps out of here. Moving the last three pistons so we can then remove our crankshaft and remove our engine block. All right, that was a successful teardown. On to repair what I can and replace what I can't. So we'll do a couple here, Get that one. And I'm just gonna sit here and do this for a very long time. All the parts were repaired and the ones that were not repaired have been replaced. So now we're ready to start putting things together. So what I did was I didn't buy all performance parts. I didn't go nuts with it because again, this thing would be undrivable power to weight ratio. What I did was I bought everything that needed to be replaced and had a performance option. I bought that. So it actually was quite a bit of stuff that got replaced with a performance option. So I feel like that would be a nice mild build. It'll, it'll be, it'll be, <laughs> it'll definitely have plenty of power and it'll be quick. I like these pistons here are all performance among Many other things, as we will find as we rebuild this engine. And there are all the pistons ready for the oil pan. We'll be able to flip this thing back over and build out the top end of this thing. Might as well get the oil filter while we're right here. So here we go. Let's go with the front first. Let's go ahead and get the cam gear on here and an ignition distributor, which is performance. 
with the uh, we got the rotor, the performance rotor, and we just got the regular cap because we were able to repair it. See where I'm going with this? We're kind of mixing and matching to build a mild street race, street streetable, somewhat race engine. <laughs> How about that? And ignition timing or the timing cover. Got ignition on the brain because I'm wondering where the why the wire. Oh, because we don't have spark plugs. That would be why. Okay, water pump. Sorry, guys, just thinking out loud here. <laughs> and our water pump pulley. Got our crankshaft, uh, harmonic balancer, crankshaft pulley as they call it. Get our alternator on here. Yeah, see, we were able to repair quite a bit of this stuff, which is good. Then get our serpentine belt B, serpentine belt A, fuel filter, which is performance. How about that? And then we've got our fan there. Let's build out this side of the engine, engine head. We were able to repair both engine heads, which is great because those are kind of expensive. But yeah, eventually, I mean, we, we'll do a full out race engine, full on throw everything at it that we can eventually. I just don't want to do it on this vehicle because again, it would be those skinny little tires, power to weight ratio, put it all together. It would be undrivable. Okay, get all these push rods in here. Last two for this side and we'll be able to do our rockers each individual rocker there we go on to the engine head cover and all of its bolts fasteners whatever you prefer to call them <laughs> got that on there and then onto our exhaust manifold get all of these guys there we go. It'll be nice to unlock the uh, faster wrenching and faster mount unmount stuff. But it's really not bad at where it is now. Man, when, when we first started with CMS 2021, it would take forever to get set. It just felt like it was so slow, especially me being used to CMS 2018 and having everything unlocked. Okay, on to building this side. Now we can do our intake manifold. I love the dual carb setup. Very cool. And we can do our ignition wires, which are performance as well. Did I mention I got the performance spark plugs? You guys probably noticed. Would be cool if there was, again, this is me going off on a little old school hot rod stuff. It'd be cool if there was like a, you know, a, the three two barrel Stromberg intake. That'd be really cool. But again, it wouldn't really work for any other car on here too well. It'd be cool on something like that F100 or something like that. Okay, I believe we have a complete engine. Indeed we do. Okay, this thing is ready to go in our hot rod. Let's move on to the suspension of this thing. Actually, we can move this for now. Move that back to where it came from because I'm going to keep the engine out while I do this suspension stuff here. Let's get our wheel off of here. These aren't in too bad a shape, really. Now we can get to our brake caliper. One stuck bolt there. Get our brake disc off. Wheel hub cap with the bearing, the front hub. And our axle knuckle cover. Your upper suspension arm. Stuck bolt there. Move that. We can get our shock assembly out of there. Sway bar front end link. This stuff isn't really too bad. Again, you've probably seen some of the junkyard stuff I bring home. Well, this stuff is just roasted. Again, that is handy with the... Uh, one handy thing about the salvage car auctions, they're, they're not as bad as the stuff you find in the junkyard. All right, that is that side torn down on the front. Let's go to the rear, tear this all down. 
I love the white walls. It is very cool. Definitely fits this. We got rear rear disc. How about that? Remove that brake disc. Get our axle out of here once we take care of that bolt there. And then we can remove that guy there and get to our few bolts. There we go. That one and come on. There we go. Spray that. That should reveal our leaf spring plate. We can get this rubber bushing out of here. Get our control arm out. Get our shock absorber out. Then we can tear down and get that shock absorber cap, get our spring and then our spring cap. And that is the suspension tear down guys. I will take care of the other side and see when that's done. I think I mention it every time that I just love that we can uh, repair our, that we got a brake lathe in here so we can resurface our brake discs. I think that's just the coolest thing. I get a huge kick out of that. I'd love to see more of things like that in future builds of this game. And I'm sure they, they hear a lot of that because this is really cool. This thing is stripped down and ready for assembly. So let's start with the uh, suspension here. Go with our steering knuckle, our front suspension, our knuckle cover, front wheel hub. Get that tightened down. Nice new pretty parts. How about that? Always like seeing that <laughs> all the nice shininess. Front wheel hub cap, brake pads, brake caliper that put together we get our upper suspension arm with all of our rubber bushings on it goes beautiful get our lower suspension arm and I have already put together our shock assembly so let's put that in now and it goes now we can do our front sway bar and we can also throw in our steering rack right there. So that way we can get our inner tie rod connected to our outer tie rod on a ghost. And we are ready for our sweep our front end link. And that should be, that is indeed the front done ready for our new tires here. I got, I went with the full white wall all the way to the rim. I think that looks Cool and of the era. Okay, on to the rear. Go with our axle housing there and our wheel hub three. Okay, spring cap. Let's work from the inside out. That'll make things a little bit easier. Go with our rear spring and the rear shock absorber cap. Onto the rear shock absorber. Now we can do our control arm. Can't forget the rubber bushing. So many rubber bushings. Actually, on on this car, it's not as bad. Some of the more modern rear ends. Ooh, tons of them back there. Then you got the little ones, and then the bigger ones, and then well, you know, we got all that put together. Our uh, U bolts and everything. We can. We are ready for our rear drive axle. And from there, we get our brake disc, freshly resurfaced brake pads ready for the caliper and we should be ready for our wheel and tire yep. wheel and tire combo mounted and balanced and that is it i will take care of the other side the suspension is complete and with that actually this needs to go back up because i bought a new fuel tank it needed a new fuel tank and it says even though it's up on the top it says it's only accessible from the bottom there we go, fuel tank B. And then we should be able to get our fuel pump in there, indeed. Beautiful, okay, now we can bring it down and we've got our battery installed. Now we can install our brake master cylinder. There we go. Get that in there. Then we can go over to our fuse box, which is mounted upside down. A little bit interesting, but I'm guessing that's the only way they could really make it work. That's fine. Just put them in upside down. No big deal. Hopefully they won't rattle loose. Okay. 
On goes the fuse box cover. Go ahead and add our brake fluid. Fill that up, good to go. And while we're here, we'll go ahead and add our coolant. Oh, well, we need the, <laughs> I kinda need the, the engine for that. I'm not, again, working, working ahead of myself. Oh, let's go grab that engine and throw it in. Install, that's our engine right there. And it looks, <laughs> it actually looks really good in there with the red like that. Yeah, I'm digging that. Very cool. Now we add the coolant. And while I'm thinking about it, I'll go ahead and add the engine oil as well. There we go. Make sure we get all our fluids. Keep everything happy. Let's remove some of these body panels. Find out how bad some of the stuff is. I know these looked a little bit rusty. The taillights here and there. And we'll pop this door off. I can see some rust there. Let's get this interior assembled. There's not much to it. Just a couple of seats and a steering wheel. All you really need in an old hot rod. There we go. Now we can move on to the body. Start mounting body parts here. We got a hood, brand new hood. We got a front left door and front right door. We have back here. Oh yeah, I bought the uh, this whole cover thing. That looks a lot better than <laughs> just the exposed gas tank like that. The spun aluminum tanks are so cool. Very, very hot roddy. Okay, I think that's all there is there. Now we just move on to the front grill. If it's gonna cooperate, there it goes. That looks really good. That's pretty slick. On to connecting everything to the driveline. We got our flywheel performance, of course. And our performance clutch. I believe that was performance clutch. We got a performance pressure plate. And our clutch release bearing. And we are ready for our gearbox. On it goes, and we're gonna wanna start the thing. So let's connect our starter. And our drive shaft. And that's pretty much it. There it goes, there's those four and those four. I wanna jump in and start it up and we'll see if it will start, see what it sounds like. Oh yeah. Nice. Get our alignment done. Headlights aligned. For the color, the, the black is cool, but I'm thinking like a dark, dark deep blue would be really cool on an old hot rod like this, an old Model T. Like I'm talking deep blue. There is a Hello Kitty livery <laughs> for this thing. And there's kind of the Hot Wheels uh, bone shaker. Oh, that's cool. Just a few, that's the cool 50th anniversary. I actually have that little bone shaker. Probably all of us do, I'm sure. Yeah, not crazy about a lot of the, I, I like I like this just simple, but deeper, deeper blue like this. That is so good. It does look cool and matte. And I like the regular gloss, but the metallic, that is sharp too. There's something about that, it looks so good. That's what we're doing. Right there, paint the car. Oh yeah, <laughs> that is nice. All right, let's move the thing over to the dyno and see what we make for horsepower. So the factory power is 282 with 367 foot-pound of torque, which is gonna be plenty for a vehicle of this weight. Uh, that would be fine, but we did put in some performance parts and let's see what we, uh, what we gained on that. Making a lot of torque right where we want to. Bounce it off the limiter, and we've got 338 horsepower, 436 foot-pound of torque, which is going to be plenty for these skinny little tires and this lightweight little car. Truck, I guess. Looking at it in the sunlight is just so good. The interior is well done. Looks really good. Simple, you know, hot rod interior. And here we are at the speed track. Yeah, see, that thing just launches. <laughs> that thing launches very, very well. There's a lot of a lot of torque we're making here. For a car of this weight. Yeah, and it's just smoking the tires. Let's try to see if we can't get going in a straight line and make a top speed run with this thing. Okay, here we are. We're going 140. Right at 150 is where it tops out on fourth gear, which is... 
It took me a lot to get there. It took a few tries. This thing, really, you really have to be real gentle with the power on this thing. But that's what makes it so much fun. Oh, it's so good. I mean, you really wouldn't want to go much faster in a vehicle like this, in a truck like this, than 150. Even that's terrifying. Because it just wants to dart around like that under full power. Time for some donuts and stuff. It does it. It does donuts fantastic. Absolutely fantastically. That's really good at that. Tires. Another thing that doesn't help is they're vintage tires too, so they don't have the don't have the most grip. But that's what makes doing stuff like this fun. <laughs> there we go. Uh, a little bit. There it is. This thing is so much fun just for this kind of stuff. All right, back to the garage. See what kind of profit we make. You know, so much of me just wants to keep this thing. <laughs> God, I can't keep them all. But how cool is that? Like legit hot rod. It is cool. Other than the few little things I complained about, like the double wishbone suspension and the uh, disc brakes and things like that. But still, it's very, very cool. It's very, very fun. That's just me being an annoying hot rod purist type of guy, I think. This engine looks really good in there, though. It is very cool. It'd be cool if they did, if, if uh, CM, uh, Car Mechanic Simulator 2021 released like a hot rod pack where they had like, you know, flathead V8s and old school, you know, drop axles and things like that it would be really, really cool. Because if, if anybody remembers Street Rod 2, the old game Street Rod 2, I used to play that all the time. It had a lot of the old school stuff in it, which I thought was just so cool. All right, enough rambling. Let's see what kind of money we make on this thing. Everything's at 100%. Looks good, looks good. Sell value is 62498 which would give us a profit of 47307 Do I really want to sell this thing for that? <laughs> so much of me just wants to keep it around. You know what, guys? I'm going to keep it around for a while, but we know that it, uh, the profit we would have made is just about $50,000. I'm not hurting for money too much right now. And just to have these things to look at and to have them around and have them out front, just... I just, I just love it. It looks so good. Guys, thank you so much for watching this one. This was a fun one for me. It really was. I enjoyed it. And if you enjoyed it, please, if you made it all this way, give it a thumbs up. Hope you liked it. If you made it this far, I hope you liked it. Uh, if you wouldn't mind hitting that like button, it sure helps me out. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next one.